excuse me but here hey this one's for i have ones for believers and this okay. one's also for uh, I've, for non-believers and mm -hmm. for believers because we got to make we got to test ourselves right yeah. make sure we're not in that list right and that's if right. we are turn around and read the back and get right with the lord right, that's right. hey what's your name jackson hey, eric I'm nice to meet you nice amen you. god bless you sir Stay, god bless take care of yourself. amen go out and share god's word right so many right. people need jesus Right, like, look, well, look what happened yesterday. I'm preaching about that. Look what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter how much money we have. That's what I said. We're all standing before it, God. I said it to a gentleman this morning to one of my doormen. Yeah. He was upset when I said. I said, listen. Yeah. Don't take it. I'm saying from the, the human spirit point of view. Yeah. I'm not talking from his physical being. Yeah. I don't want anyone to go like that. No, you better it's believe tragic. it. No. No one should go that way. But he was called home with a purpose. Yeah. His spirit was. Yeah. The flesh is his flesh. Yeah. But the spirit was what was the most important thing that he wanted back. Yeah. Well, I, I pray Kobe Bryant. I pray he was born again. He was. Oh, he. Oh, he was. He was. Oh, you're positive that? Oh, okay. I don't know. I see. I. I don't even followed his career. I didn't, you know. I. I, I didn't follow most you know, of his career. Yeah. But from what I what I know mm -hmm. and kind <clears> of uh, read, because the young lady that he was that he's married to. Yeah. She is. Okay. And, and he got he got himself got himself right after that. Oh, see, situation. I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. See, I know like like uh, uh, sports figures like Tim Tebow. Yeah. That they'll they'll someone when someone has the Holy Spirit inside of them, mm -hmm. they'll want to tell everybody about Christ. So Absolutely. I didn't see that about Kobe yeah. Bryant though. No, and, and, you know what I mean. So because it's funny that you say that. You understand that, right? Because it's inside of you. When the Spirit's inside of us, we want to cry out. We want to tell people. My station. Right. And yeah. I talk to most people. Yeah. They don't they don't know I'm like, they don't know yeah. that I'm filled. Yeah. With the Holy Spirit. They don't know I felt that before. They don't know it. Yeah. I preach when he allows me to preach. When yep. he allows me to preach. Amen. Yeah, the, yeah, the Bible calls uh, Mark 16, 15. That, you know, I wasn't, he didn't put me here to be out here. Going to call oh, no, we all have our, yeah, we all have our ministry. I get that. Yeah, we all have our but, ministry. You know, and but we're all called to share our faith. Exactly. All called to share our faith. Exactly. Mark 16, 15. And I said that, and I said it to the gentleman this morning, too. He was like, Jack, I didn't know you was like that. I said, because. You didn't ask. Yeah. You chose not to want to talk to me until you got in trouble. Got it. Okay. Keep yeah. sharing your face, Jackson. You know, Keep sharing you your too. faith. And it was you so too, good. Brother. So nice to see a brother in Christ. God Amen bless. Take care of God bless. Sharing the good news of the gospel, folks. There's salvation through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Well, if you don't Once we repent and turn to Christ, you can have forgiveness of sin. John 14, 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And nobody comes to the Father except through me, folks. You have to ask yourself, how are you getting to heaven today? Are you getting to heaven on your own merit, on your own good works? It won't work, folks. It won't work. You need the Son of God. You need forgiveness of sin through Jesus. The Bible says in John 3, 36, He that believes in the Son has everlasting life. But he that does not obey the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him, folks. We don't want God's wrath abiding on us on the day of judgment. We want, don't want to be found wanting on the day of judgment. The Bible says God is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and times of refreshment may come from the presence of the Lord. You can have refreshment, ref times of refreshment come from the presence of the Lord. But not until you humble yourself, folks. Not until you humble yourself, young people, and realize that the wages of your sin is death. The wages of your lies is death. The wages of your lust is death. But it's not just one-sided. There's also mercy and forgiveness. When we repent and turn to Christ in faith, it's a free gift. It's a free gift. You can receive the Lord today. You don't have to receive him in front of me. You can go anywhere you want and cry out to God for his mercy and forgiveness. Anywhere and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I've looked at porn. I've had lust. I've gotten drunk. I've stolen. When you realize that your sin nailed Christ to the cross, there comes a change. There's a humbling of yourself. 
There's a, there's a new birth, folks. It's the new birth. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3.17, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, they are a new creation. The old is gone, and the new has come. So when someone's born again, you can tell if they're telling the truth or not by the way they live their life. Have they changed from going, following the old ways to the newness of life? Are they obeying God's word? Because the Bible says in Hebrews 5, 9, and him being perfected became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. And he says again in Luke 6, 46, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? So folks, once we repent and believe in Christ, we will obey his word. There's many false churches on our street corners, folks. They just want your money. They want your tithe. I'm not out here to get anything from you. I want you to repent, confess and forsake your sin, and give your life to the Lord. Because the moment we die, folks, the moment we die, we will be judged, heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, Moreover, brethren, I declare to the gospel, which I preached to you, which you also received, in which you stand, by which you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you have believed in vain. For I have delivered you first of all, which I also received, that Christ, Christ died for our sins. As the scriptures say, he was dead, he was buried, he rose again on the third day. As the scriptures say, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You shall be saved. Many of you went to church on Sunday. But have you truly been born again? Have you turned from your sinful ways? So many say, I don't believe in God. But you're without excuse, folks. You're without excuse. Every day God shows you He's real. Through the moon, through the clouds, through the stars. But you say, no, there's no God. You say, there's no God, folks. You're without excuse. Because God gave you a conscience, a mechanism inside of you, a conscience. When you lie, you feel conviction. You can't run from your conscience. When you steal, you feel conviction. You can't run from your conscience. You can say there's no God, but you can't run from your conscience. It excuses you or it accuses you. That's God trying to tell you you're not right with him that you must repent and turn to him in faith. Laying aside that filthiness and that overflow of wickedness and receiving with meekness, folks, the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. God is so long suffering with you. He's giving you another day to hear his word. Your soul could be required of you tonight. Two people die every second, folks, on earth. 